Fallout 4 base tour. Finally, huh? Been a minute that I've been winding up to <clears throat> this moment here. So I guess it's only right to start it the way somebody would their first time walking up to the base. So we'll We'll just uh, stay looking down just to not spoil the shit. Huh. Fucking this up. Okay. This obviously isn't done yet. It's going to loop around. You know, but you're... I'm probably going to replace this with an electric gate. Going to a, a switch in the control room. I want this to be a, a tunnel, basically. With different guard posts like this going along. So that enemies will basically be forced funneled, have the tunnel keep going till maybe about around here, around this kind of area, but so shit will be funneled, force funneled into this fucking, this section, here is the base. Got the windmills, just put those in. <laughs> and with that, we'll start the tour of the inside. If this happens a few times, my uh, trigger on my PS4 controller has been being a little fucky lately. <clears throat> so this is the weapons and armor station, the, uh, the arming room. You know, you would leave your, your, you got the decan, decontamination thing here. This is everybody's rooms, everybody has a, you know, a bed, room to grow into, settlement-wise, but everybody's got their own little unit with privacy, got the, this floor, I haven't quite decided yet what I'm going to do with, this is just like the crafting floor, and uh, guard posts, Got these guard posts all along the outside. The reason why I have these doors on here, and I'm going to hook these up to a switch eventually too, is so that things being shot at the guards aren't going in here and blowing up the generators. If a grenade was thrown in here and came down here and blew up one of these generators, big ones. We've got a couple of uh, water pumps inside the base itself in case the ones outside get smashed up. Probably going to turn this into like a separate little diner. Maybe. But it would be weird because I've got the fucking prison cell right here. I rarely use this only used this like once. I put Mercy Long in here because she's such a bitch all the time. <laughs> I like how I have this <clears throat> set up here with the, 
the uh, multiple level skylight but it kind of sucks because as you can see now this is a glitch half the time the rain does does not go through the skylight like this but at the same time even when it's working properly it's not that impressive like I was kind of hoping to see like to look up and to see the droplets of water you know hitting the glass and 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 maybe call me naive perhaps even a bit of puddling of water maybe a drizzle a drizzling action some dripping action right here yes <laughs> here is the bar club rick where everybody all the settlers come to hang out, all my companions, and and me a lot of time too, when I'm just smoking or like in the in the later stage of a playthrough where I'm real tired and I'm just like barely doing shit, just hang out and and drink the excessive amounts of booze that I've gathered. Got the magazine stand I like that. Got a lot of magazines. I wish, and it says read, but I wish these were like Skyrim, and you could actually, I mean, come on, put put three or four pages worth of, of shit in there, come on. It would be so interesting, what is in the Wasteland Survival Guide, I want to know. What did she write? What did, what, what, are, what did Myra write in the Wasteland Survival Guide? You know, what's in a grognak? comic book come on bethesda such a such a missed opportunity anyway so i get the bar set up in the kitchen everybody dining in here what an arduous process that was doesn't even make him cold fuck you and now you might be saying what the fuck is this all my videos i've i never address this shit here all right it's open Never address this shit here. Well, this... And you might have looked at the outside of my base and said, Huh. That... The area that that room that he goes in, the bar room, looks kind of funny. Well, I've got the... This is great whenever the base gets attacked and I'm chilling in the bar, I just run over to this shit. Dun, dun, dun. This is my, this is my homemade overseer's desk. And this is not just a bunch of blinky bullshit that does nothing but looks cool. But we'll start over here with the, the bedroom. Got a couple of mannequins that I'm stacking up all the, uh, Basically every gun with a name or piece of armor with a, a name I'm keeping. And I'm just compiling them all. Got the ghoul slayer. This one is going to be replaced with one with a name when I when I find another one with a name. Huh. Um, this is where I had the Deathclaw egg. When I met the Deathclaw and it didn't hatch I was so disappointed. <laughs> but yeah, the overseer's desk. Let's get to that because that is obviously the most interesting thing going on in this in this room here. What does it do? What do we have for the for the functions here? So on this side, let's scooch over. On this side. We can activate the take a break thing so that everybody will stop doing their jobs and go to the bar and hang out. That's outside. We can activate the sirens to get everybody all up in arms in case some intruders. Can activate. 
Got some weather going on. Outside is getting a bit touchy. This switch activates a battery of laser turrets, mainly located around the front of the fortress here, but also wrapping around just enough so that the entirety of the, you know, basically the only blind spot is right at the rear of this thing. But that's where the artillery and majority of the guard posts and landmines are, so you wouldn't want to be there anyway. But it's also a whole lot of, uh, it's not really that dark, so you can't tell that much. But there's also a lot of uh, spotlights rigged up. It gives a really good effect when it's pitch black, and you, you flick that on, and the, the night is lit up. Because I have a mod in here that you may have noticed. I have a mod that buffs up the graphics, at least it says it does, but mainly it makes the weather a lot more intense. There's like different kinds of rad storms as you can see, this is like a foggy light one. The normal rad storm does a lot more damage rad wise. Let's see what else we have here. Ah, uh, I'm going to save that one. This is the latest switch I just put in activates a secondary series of turrets which are all missile turrets this is the like the fail sw safe switch I just recently used this so there's not a lot loaded into it there was a death claw coming over the bridge and it was walking right in front this basically fries everything within the view here within this within this view here <laughs> when it's fully loaded I only got a little bit of shit in there but anyway boom so that's all these um, the baseball pitcher things <clears throat> automatic baseball pitcher things attached to the fort all at different angles and you, you fill them up with all the different explosives grenades Molotov cocktails and whatnot when I flip that switch it just keeps on shooting them until it until it runs out or I turn it off and finally well you got your you got your power counter here your TV because it looks nice hoping that like come on there's gonna be a hollow tape or some shit you play on this TV um, get the video game you got your population management and my favorite part let's say your defenses of you know your turrets are all shot out and your defense force of guys that are you know, your broken arrow shit, you know. But anyway, you got bullets and explosives and shit coming at you in the office here. You don't want that. So you just say you got an enemy shooting at you with a missile launcher. You just hit this old bad boy here. And say goodbye to the, to the world. Shut the world out for a bit. That's the, uh, huh. I've been having some power fluctuations lately ever since I added in the new missile battery. Now my red lights are off. Oh, is that because I, oh, there you go. Yeah, those turn on when you, when you open it. Anyway. Yep, that's my that's my fallout base I really enjoy this this like setup here when you're like oh, near the end of a playthrough and you're just kind of smoking a doobie going over your inventory and shit and it may be something attacks the base and you don't even want to deal with the threat <laughs> And you're just like, whatever. You guys can... 
handle that shit. <laughs> yeah. Peace. Like and subscribe.